hands on the hips, straight legs, just doing big circles with my hips. Go about 10 times one direction, 10 times the other direction. I don't do 10 in the video, but do 10 on your own. Now you're just going to gently start out moving side to side, enough to feel it in the inner thigh on the straight leg. You don't have to go real low to do this, but it does help if you lean into the straight leg. Now I'm going to start widening my feet and going just a little lower. If you can get your hands to the floor and go down all the way down, then go ahead and do that. This is called a modified Cossack squat because my hands are on the floor helping me balance. Now once you get into the full Cossack, if you can do it, make sure you keep the squat foot flat on the floor. So the bent knee, that foot is flat, the other leg is all the way straight. Grab the foot, grab the shin actually, and pull the foot to the opposite hip with the knee out to the side. Stand up nice and tall and really pull that foot up high if you can. Give me about 10 on each side. You can certainly do more if this one feels good. Now grab your foot. You can go same arm, same leg, or opposite arm and leg. Stand up tall, pull the knee back, and you're just holding it for a second or two. You're not actually holding the stretch, you're just going into and out of it, moving side to side. Now one shoulder is going to drop as you rotate your torso and you can really drop that shoulder down and kind of accentuate the push and go about 10, maybe upwards of 20 on each side if you really feel this one. Now I'm keeping my arms totally loose, actually letting them flap on my torso. This one feels really good, this is one of my favorites. Now go about 90 degrees on both knees, and you want one knee touching the heel, the bottom of the heel on the other foot. And you're going to start out using your hands behind you to balance. You go back and forth five to ten times. And then once you can do it without your hands, you can do this a few times to practice, and then you're going to come up onto the knees. Sit back down, rotate to the other side. Come up on the knees. Sit back down, rotate. Do this just a few times each side. Now we're going to add a step up. And then a step back with the knee under the heel. I misplaced mine there, so I had to adjust. Come up, step up into a low lunge. Knee back, sit down. Now we're going to step up and stand all the way up. Leave the feet planted when you stand up because you're going to bring that knee right back down. Knee down, step back, knee to heel, butt down, and rotate. Now this is the beginning of a Turkish get up. The same arm and knee are up. And you're going to push yourself up onto your left elbow. Okay, so that arm stays vertical. That knee stays bent and that foot stays flat. My right leg, the knee is bent and the foot is flat. Now I'm going to come up onto my hand on the left side. Do that just two or three times just to practice the motion. Now next time I come up, I'm going to come up elbow and then hand, lift the hips, and then slide that left foot back behind me so the knee is on the floor. Get myself into a low lunge with the arm up high. Now hand goes back down, foot slides back in front of me, butt goes down, elbow, shoulder, shoulder. Now we'll do it again. And I'm going to rotate that shin inward like a windshield wiper. And then same thing when I sit back down. It's going to rotate back out under my butt. Legs in front of me, butt down, elbow, shoulder, shoulder. Now we'll do the other side. Same exact moves. Just come up onto the elbow about three times or so. Now we'll come up onto the hand two or three times. Now we'll come up elbow, hand, hips up, slide that foot underneath, windshield wiper that leg back, the shin back, and then low lunge with a straight arm. 
Butt down, elbow down, shoulder, shoulder. That's it. 